What's going on guys? So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the JBL Party Box 1000. And for the past few years or so, I've always been kind of biased because I love the Bose speakers much more than the JBL ones. But anyway, guys, I was really blown away by how good this speaker actually is. So before we talk about anything further, let's go ahead and let you listen to a audio clip of the JBL Party Box 1000. Audio is about 50%. All right, so this JBL Party Box 1000 is an 1100 watt speakers. It has two seven inch speaker right there and a 12 inch sub, which is crazily powerful and strong. In the past, I've owned JBL Eon 1, JBL Eon 1 Pro, and then the SRM Flex, multiple S1 from Bose, and then a few of the other speakers as well, including Bose L1. But you know, out of all of those right there, I believe I have finally had to say that JBL right here, this one, the Party Box 1000. I can finally say now, even though I don't want to, I believe this is actually better than all of the other ones that I have tested it, which is crazy because I did not expect it to be this good. But anyway, this weights in at about 36 kilogram or so, so about 80 pounds, guys. Pretty heavy for myself, but it does have two wheels at the bottom in which we can just pull it along like a dolly or so. And just like always guys, at any time during this video, if you wanna check out more specific details on this speaker right here, I will have the link to it in the description box down below. Feel free to click it and check out more info there. All right, so let's quickly go over everything that you see on top of the speaker here. First of all, you have the LED lighting control. Simply press it once to change through the different LED lighting or simply to turn it off completely, whatever way you like. Next, we have the power button. Simply hold it down for a second or two to power off and hold it down again for about three seconds to power back on. Bluetooth control button, hold it down to activate the Bluetooth setting. And the last button down here is to change the different sources from Bluetooth to USB auxiliary or the RCA line in. Up here, we have voice control. Now you have this DJ pad right here that has multiple different purposes. Simply press this button down here that has the four square to turn it on. So yellow does something different. So that's like the drum, green, blue, purple, so pretty cool. I haven't used it much, but if you're a DJ, maybe you can use that. And then right here we have the wristband control. You can actually control the speaker using the wristband that comes with it, which is this right here. So this uses gesture control. So like you tap twice to turn on the first style or clap four times to turn on a different style, but I never use that either. So it's a cool feature to have though. So you can also record your own beat. So press this button right here and then you can record and then you can loop it and have it on replay. That way you can play the music and then play your beats at the same time, which is pretty cool as well. And all the way over here, we have your play and pause button. So you can play or stop the music directly from the speaker right here without your phone being on you. And we also have the volume down and volume up control. And right here, we have the bass boost button, guys. And it is so ridiculously strong and powerful. Simply pressing this button, you have two different bass levels. So you can have the bass boost completely off and the music will sound pretty good and pretty good bass already. But you have two additional bass level boosts. So you can press it once. That'll be level one with the bass boost and press it once more and it'll go to the strongest bass level and it is going to shake the wall inside your house, guys. That's how powerful it is. So over here, we have the smart DJ button. So what this is, let's say if you want to play a piano audio clip, right? You turn this thing on, you press it. Let's go. So that's like a sound link, you know that the smart DJ feature is on. So let's say you're listening to a piano play track or a guitar track, then it will automatically play the drum beat along with the piano. It doesn't always work flawlessly. It works somewhat. I'll show you how it works in just a second. And over here, we have the echo control for the microphone and the guitar. And lastly, we have the key control for the audio. And you see this little slot right here, you can actually put your iPad or iPhones on there. 
just like this. And then you can stand behind the speaker controlling your iPads or iPhone while the audience is in the front enjoying your music. Now to the back of the speaker. First of all, on top we have a handle in which we can hold and tilt the speaker and then simply roll it along like a dolly. And right below the handle we have several things. We have this small fan right here and the only time you would hear this fan is if you are not listening to music and if you are in an extremely quiet environment. So right here you have a quarter inch microphone input as well as a guitar input and you do have gain for both input. You also have a RCA line in as well as RCA line out. You also have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input along with a USB that will allow you to play backtrack at the same time when you're playing through this input as well as your music. And lastly, here's the two little wheels that you can roll the speaker along with the dolly and here's the power input. Now on both sides of the speaker, you do have these four little orange anti-slippery rubber pieces that will allow you to actually lay the speaker on its side and it will still sound just as good. And the rugged design right here feels pretty nice. Here's a quick look over on this side. We have the JBL brand right there. All right, so let's go ahead and play some audio clips to show you how good this actually sounds. So you can simply press this button to change through different LED settings. favorite one right here. All right, so that first audio clip you just heard was without the bass boost on. So what I'm gonna do now is play the same song and then I'm gonna have the bass boost on level one. So here goes. This is with bass boost level one, guys. level two. The wall guys, the walls is literally shaking. So I'm gonna do a quick walk throughout the entire house. And I think if you have two of this, it will shake the entire house guys. So the audio right now is only at about 25%. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and then I'm gonna turn up to 50 and then turn up to 100. And this is the Bose S1 playing. Forty 
3 bucks. SRM Flex. All at the same volume level. The 40 box. Both S1. So let's turn the both S1 up to 100. Forty box up to one hundred. S or M flex to one hundred. Both S one Pro. There you have it guys. So what do you think? I believe out of these three, the Porty Box 1000 sounds actually the best. Hate to say it, but the Bose definitely lose to this one. So the only downside about this Porty Box right here is it does not have built-in battery. So I believe the other one, the JBL Eon 1 Pro, if you want a battery pack of in one PA system, then I think that may be a better option for you there. But if you want something powerful that will shake the wall, shake the house, then this thing right here will definitely get the job done. All right now, I want to show you the Smart DJ feature. Now, it works with certain songs, certain songs it doesn't work. So I do have a piano backtrack right here. Once in a while, the speaker doesn't catch the bass notes with the backtrack. If the backtrack has, you know, more noticeable bass, then the Smart DJ feature works better. So let's go ahead and let you listen to the original piano backtrack first. All right. turn on the smart DJ feature now so when you first turn it on you're gonna hear like a beat immediately after you turn it on let's go all right let's see if it's gonna work so it worked before when I tested it but it doesn't seem to be working right now but anyway, if it doesn't work, you can play your own beat. Check this out. Oh, look, it works. There you go. See, it will play for a little, then it will stop. So that's why I say, again. Go ahead and turn it off. So as I was saying, the Smart DJ features, it works a lot better if the backtrack has some bass in it and it catches the bass note and it plays the beat according to that. But sometimes, as you can see, it plays for a few seconds and it stopped because the backtrack that I used was a piano backtrack. But check this out though. You can also use the uh, DJ pad on here independently and on your own at any time. So let me go ahead and play that and show you how good that actually sounds. So let's go ahead and rewind. And then I'm gonna play some beat for you guys along with this piano, amateur.
you can see there, guys, it could be pretty fun if you like to do some kind of DJing like that. But again, I'm just an amateur at this, so don't throw rocks at me, guys. So one thing about the design of this speaker, not many people like this design, and I personally was not a big fan of the way this speaker looked. But I have to say, I love the audio quality, the bass, and how everything sound coming out of this speaker. So that is the reason that I'm in love with it. And I can get over the fact that it looks like this because back in the days when we didn't have anything that small or that cool looking, it was just all like this. You know, now we get the LED lighting with, you know, better audio quality. And again, that is what I love. I think the only improvement they can do with this in the future is to add in a battery. That way we can carry this wherever we go without having to plug in the power cord. But even with that being said, guys, this thing is a bad, bad beast. And when it comes to the bass, guys, a lot of people think that you know, the bass is too much with this thing right here, but I love it. I am a bass head, so I love it when I have the bass boost power on. And it's super nice to have this option as well. If you don't like it, just turn off the bass. And even without the bass boost on, you still have plenty of bass and you can enjoy your audio and you can still hear and feel the wall shaking. Now, after the bass boost level is on level one and two, you really, really feel the entire floor and the walls shaking everything. And again, if you really, really want this thing to shake the house, lay it down on its side and then lay it against like a flat wall you will feel the entire house shaking. And that is how powerful this thing is. So with all that being said, guys, link to it will be in the description box down below. Feel free to click the link for more information and I will see you all in the next video.